Hello everyone, this is Anthony, and this is the, what you're looking at right now is my last video that I did back in, I don't know, 2018. Um, what I did was, I was counting my stack of coins that took me a year to build up. Came out to 106,000, this was the end of the video. I added the stack up, came out to 106, and um, so basically, this was the end of the video, like I said. So those are all the one ounce gold, palladium, platinum coins, stack of cash, 10 ounce palladium bar, so on and so forth. So it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful thing. And basically the end of the video, all I said was every morning, just get up and hustle, get up and rise and grind. What I did was I just paused the video and I put the camera aiming down. I got four packages over the weekend and I'm con always looking to buy and sell and make money and hustle. All legit, all legal, not looking to hurt anyone. A good deal is when we both walk away from the table and we're both uh, unhappy, um, but we both made money, me and the other party. So those coins that I just showed you, the 125,000 that I, inv I sold, I gave it to a jeweler. Um, to purchase some of his uh, future receivables and that's a whole nother story which I'm happy to tell you um, However, the day I sold those coins the next day I went out and I was purchasing. I never stopped purchasing um, I'm always saving people say what I don't I don't understand Anthony You just sold your coins and then you're buying them at the same time. That's foolish To, to me, I, I don't get why that is foolish. So if I purchase a home the next day, I shouldn't be saving money again. I'm always saving, um, even if I'm selling. Another thing is, I don't look at the prices. I don't care what the price of gold is. I really don't. People don't believe that. Some people think I'm, I'm an idiot. I don't really give a shit what you think. Um, I can just tell you that I don't care. Even when I sell it, if, if I lose money, I, I don't know if I lose money because I don't know what price I paid for it. So this box I already opened, um, but I didn't open this. So put the receipts in here, right? Um, so. To give you an idea, this I purchased uh, four hundred and thirty dollars worth. Uh, I took two ten pounds gold coins, right? Big deal. So, which is right here. So, we're gonna open this um, because I like gold and, and platinum and palladium and all that good stuff. So, while I'm opening this, I tell you, I. So that, that batch, that stack that I sold for a hundred and something thousand, 125,000, try to put it right to work afterwards, try to turn that 125 into 150 in four months. However, the four months came and went and the person never paid me. Um, so imagine how I felt. I went from literally being broke. When I say broke, I mean, I had, I'm 50 years, at the time I was in my late forties, mid forties, had someone paying my electric bill, uh, how do you like that? Your mother's paying your electric bill, paying your car payment. You have two kids and a wife. But you, I'm, I wasn't a bum. I worked. I got sick and I couldn't work. So that's a story for another time. But let's see what we got here. Um, I know what I bought. So we're just going to take him out here. And um, people like unboxings. Da, 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 da. So this is. So I started buying these one ten coins again, and the reason for it was um, after the uh, what happened in the country from China, my business went down the tubes. It was uh, and plus the business is under three years old, so it's so volatile anyway. Well, volatile, yeah. And uh, long story short, I didn't go under, but pretty much went to zero again. So um, and. So I couldn't buy any one one ounce coins because it was out of my price range. But yeah, I got another uh, two of them here, and I know it's nothing. Um, however, that big stack that I had with one hundred and six thousand, I had more than that. Obviously, this is what I'm down to. Um, this whatever's in here, and I have right now maybe another fifty thousand with another jeweler because I'm doing another deal with another jeweler. However, um, that's in a story for another time. And now this thing I did not open, even though there's tape right here, I didn't open it. And what I wanted to do was get up to um, one roll. This is a roll, right? I think 50 fits in here. 
and uh, one roll of these 10 pounds. I didn't have the money for one ounce coins and I couldn't just sit around and wait and nuts and not do anything. So these have the most, the highest premium. Uh, so basically you buy 10 of these to one ounce of gold, right? Um, you buy 10 of these, you're spending probably $300 above spot, maybe ballpark. And so you're better off buying one ounce coins because you'll, you know, you'll save a little money there, but if you don't have money for one ounce coins, what are you going to do? You have no choice. You got to buy what you could afford and well, don't buy anything. However, I'm always buying something. I always wanted money. You know, they say, you know, I'm sure money's never saved. You might've heard that. It's just going from one account to another. So I saved 125,000, but was it really saved? When two months later, I sold it and transferred it into a jeweler's account because he, he was supposed to transfer back 150. However, he has the 125. 150 never came back, and uh, we'll get into that another time. So here's this should be two more, maybe. I don't know what I bought. That's the truth. Okay, this is from SD Bullion. They're pretty good. Um, again, pretty good. What does that mean? They're a little cheaper. I don't look at the prices when I buy. I know that sounds nuts. I look at it if I can afford it or not. Um, but I don't care because I'm not buying for it. This is not a, it's not an investment in the way of me needing it to go higher for retirement or wanting it to go higher. I want it to go higher, yeah. Actually, I don't care if it goes higher or lower because I'm cost averaging in. If I'm buying every week or whatever, randomly here and there. Oh, here's three coins. I didn't even know I had three. Um, so I was trying to get up to 50 of these. I don't know what I'm up to right now. Uh, 50 of them, I mean, you do the math, it's uh, roughly, I don't know, $5,000 maybe? No, 10 I have no idea. Um, all right, so that's it. So that's uh, three more I got in the mail. And um, so 50, if they were 225, well, let's see what I paid for it. Um, sorry for hitting the camera. Is there a receipt somewhere? I'm pretty sure I had one. All right, so this is SD book. No. Whatever this is, this is a bullion exchange, 430, so 215 each I paid, and in the bullion, in the other company, I don't even see a receipt in the bag, so I don't know what I paid, um, doesn't really matter anyway, okay, so now I wanted to get up to five, uh, 50 of these bad boys, so then I have a whole roll, and it just, it's, to me, it's an accomplishment, you know, I wanted to do it. I bought one. I remember my first one that I bought. I was like, oh, my God. How the hell am I going to fill 50 of these things up? And we, we're we going through a rough time in this country. So my business is extremely slow. And you're going to watch this week. I'm going to try to have a good week and try to make some money. And you'll see the transactions I do. And um, if I do make money here and there, what I will do is I will purchase more gold. Um, right now, there is a jeweler that has around 50,000 worth of coins of mine. And um, I made a deal with him for something else. I bought a, uh, I didn't buy it. I did a deal for a, a watch. Um, this expensive watch that there's a premium there for me to make money. And that's the only reason I would do it. I wouldn't buy a $50,000 watch for me to wear, but I would do it to make money. If I could wear it for a month or two and then sell it. Um, that would be great. So actually, this jeweler right now has, like I said, roughly fifty, sixty thousand worth of my gold, and I have a platinum presidential Rolex from him, and uh, he's a great jeweler, honest guy, and so I think I owe him like twelve thousand, and then we're done. He gives me back my gold and my platinum, and I have the watch, and we part as friends. However, last week I did a deal. I did a. Uh, a small, I did a deal for, no bullshit, and I'll show you all facts. Um, I purchased a Yachtmaster Rolex and a Harley Davidson, 2003 Harley Davidson from this salesperson that I do business with here and there, um, for $8,000. That's right, eight thousand dollars for an 03 a Holly Soft Hill. It's called. I, uh, it's, I don't even have it yet, but it's already uh, it's done. The deal's done. I have the watch. It was it was delivered last week, and the uh, the bike is still in his garage. But I have the title, so it's all good. Um, I'm not even counting these. Uh, 
that's okay. I'll just get in my stacks first. And so what I'm, what I'm thinking about doing, so that means I'm into this. I owe the jeweler for the uh, the platinum Rolex. I think I owe him 25000 Ballpark. I'm going to offer him the Harley Davidson and the Yachtmaster. I paid eight grand for it. If he accepts it, that means I got a home run because I already got a great deal on the watch. And this will be a, a, another premium built in. Um, it'll be a home run. And that's how I make money. I hustle, I make money. So let's see what we got here. We got one, two, hopefully you can even see what's going on here. Two, so I know what two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten. Okay, I just paused the video for ten seconds. I want to count the stack, so I didn't make this video so friggin' long. Um, again, I started buying one at a time. My goal was to get to 50. Right there, you see 40. And I had three of them or four of them delivered today. And I have 50 on the head. Uh, exactly 50, one tenth ounce gold coins. So, which is the equivalent of five one ounce coins. Um, so, please watch the next video and part two. And we're going to show you what we're going to do with these. And if you're 50 years old or 45 and you think that... Um, what am I going to do? Because I know it might. When I was in my mid forties, I wanted to get a job. No one's paying me three, four hundred thousand a year. And how, how the hell are you going to live in this country without making four hundred thousand a year? You need money. You need money to survive. If you have a family, you need money to make money. Um, if you're a salary worker, that's great. You live within your means. That's great. Um, you would all knock anyone for anything. However, I'm an entrepreneur. I don't have a great. You know, I have a high school diploma. So there's no one hiring me with a $400,000 salary. If I, if I make $400,000, it's going to have to be me on my own making it happen. Um, please check out part two.